The Mactera spawn is the most common of the Mactera, and the best example of how most Mactera will behave in combat when you meet them. Its easily spotted weak point on its abdomen can be shot for three times bonus damage and quickly take them out of the fight. Just like the spawn, all of its family are heavily susceptible to fire damage and melee strikes, so if you ever caught in a tight space, get your pick out and smack them down. Projectile Mactera needs to charge an attack burst by being completely stationary, giving you time to shoot at their abdomens. All projectile Mactera that charge an attack cannot cancel it, which gives you time to either get behind cover or see it coming and plan your movement accordingly. Simple strafing to either side at a fair distance should keep you out of harm's way from these mayflies. Mactera brundles behave nearly identical to their smaller cousins, however they are much more able to take a beating and have armour protecting their abdomens. Two heavy plates protect the underside of its belly, and once broken allow you to deal the extra three times damage to quickly ground these pests. A pickaxe power attack or a well aimed shot are your best bet to destroy these plates. The Mactera Tridor is among the most maligned and feared of the projectile Mactera. As their name implies, they fire three separate projectiles from their mouths, which all have a set trajectory path. Two will move to the left and right of the dwarf, and one directly at them. The two adjacent shots are set to the current travelling speed of the dwarf, and all three shots fire in an arc going downwards. You can exploit this by walking towards the tri-jaw during its attack, and completely negate the other two projectiles. Best advice is to keep your distance from these nasties, as three shots is more than enough to have you put down. Mactera Goo Bombers are the most disruptive to yourself and your team by their ability to spray goo in, well, a bombing fashion. The two glowing sacks on their abdomens can be destroyed for three times damage, and to also permanently disable the bomber's ability to spread its slowdown to hinder your team. If the bomber dies while still having even a single sack remaining, it will fly uncontrollably around the cave and spray goo everywhere. This can be avoided by making sure both sacks are destroyed before putting it down for good. The Mactera Grabber is by far the deadliest threat to yourself and your team, and an absolute number one kill priority during hectic swarm clearing. They can be distinguished by their unique screeching which can be heard through nearly the entire cave and also acts as their warning signal. The Grabber on a successful dwarf steal will try to find a high place to drop the unfortunate miner to die from the fall. Dwarves can attempt to call for help on its clutches, and their portrait will glow a bright green to indicate distress to other team members. Any damage done to the Grabber during its grab attempt will stop it in its tracks and force it to attempt again after a short time. Overtime elemental damage is best for these dwarf snatchers, as it prevents them from initiating a grab attempt. Bacteria are always bound to be a pest on Hoxie's 4, and the best you can do is stick with your guns and guts to make it home safely. Always remember to watch the skies, miners, and keep an ear out for a familiar flutter of wings that'll send a shiver down your spine by this flying menace. This is Gaffy, signing out. Rock and stone!